crucial concept that was misunderstood in this movie by many people was that we've been so stuck on thinking that a particular group of people was the ones that was messing us up. We was trained to think that it was this guy that was the reason of our downfall. But it wasn't. The whole time, it was those who looked like us. All skin folk ain't kin folk. It's us ourselves or those who look like us. That's the problem. That's what this movie was trying to tell us. It's not them. That's the problem. It's us. a citizen of a corporation. That is impossible. There's no such thing as a citizen of a corporation. Corporations don't have anything in them that are alive. They just don't. So they created the 14th Amendment for their corporation. Now the U.S. Constitution is corporate bylaws of Corporation United States. Where did it come from? They stole the amendments or borrowed them, is another way of saying it. They borrowed the amendments and the uh, articles from the Constitution of the United States and adopted it as a corporate bylaws of this new phony corporation. Now they wanted to get you guys to be citizens of the corporation, but since there is a God and common law ties to the creator God, they had to get you dead. So by putting your name in all capital letters in the English language, you are judicially dead. I looked at these attorneys and I said, why is my name capital D, capital A, capital V, capital I, capital D? Oh, we don't know. We were taught that in law school. Kind of intriguing. When I joined the U.S. Navy, um, my name was capital D, capital, oh, sorry, capital D, small A, small V, small I, small D, normal. Capital R, small O, small L, small A, small N, small D, comma, Capital H, capital I, capital N, capital K, capital S, capital O, capital N. What the heck for? We go to the post office. You know the post office used to be called the Postal Service of the United States of America? They changed the name of it. The U.S. Navy was the Naval Forces of the United States of America. What is citizenship? Citizenship comes from the word territory. If I'm a citizen of the United States, that means I live in the 10 miles square. If I'm a citizen of the United States of America, according to the, and I've read back Supreme Court rulings that go back to day one, that's a citizen who might live in Alabama. The of America denotes you reside outside of the 10 miles square. <clears throat> so if I go in here and I reverse it, a U.S. citizen is not a citizen of the U.S. That's a reverse. They've reversed the whole sentence. So if a U.S. citizen is somebody who lives in the 10 miles square and a citizen of the United States of America is somebody who lives outside the 10 miles square, what's a U.S. citizen? Well, that's somebody who lives in the piece of paper. That's somebody who's got a phony-ass corporate contract stapled to his butt. That's who that is. The 14th Amendment's a fraud. It says you won't question the debt. They were picking on the tobacco companies. They got a good lawyer made some good arguments showing that the 10 mile square is the only place they had jurisdiction. Now they're backing off on the tobacco. I got a copy of that lawsuit. Went all the way to the Supreme Court and the media never talked about it. Hire a great attorney, they'll make a great argument for you. The Seventh Amendment's right smack in the middle of the U.S. Constitution, the phony one. The one everybody thinks is their prize and possession here. We have two of every state before Abe Lincoln. We have the state of California, which is a subcorporation of the U.S. corporation, and we have the California Republic. But do you think the dragon, Satanists, would keep the capital in the same place? Every single state moved its capital. The capital of Utah is not Salt Lake City, it's Fillmore. The capital of Denver, uh, Colorado is not Denver, it's Canyon City. The capital of California is not Sacramento, it's Los Angeles. The capital of Idaho is Lewiston. It's not Boise. So they're so afraid, these Satanists, they're so afraid, they have to have a whole different building, move it to a whole different city. 
And just to make sure you guys don't put your name correctly, so you might have your judicial common law rights back, they'll ask you to put your last name first on every application, just to make sure you do it correctly. Richard Fry tells me he started using the COVID-19 vaccine as a term of probation in his courtroom last week, but not for everyone. He ordered it three times out of 20 different sentencing hearings. I did talk to one of those three offenders today, and he tells me he feels very strongly about this and feels that this order violates his civil rights. One week to the day. Uh, the case was about... Um a gun charge and some drugs. Franklin County criminal offender Sylvan Latham tells me he stood before common police court judge Richard Fry. I know Judge Fry's reputation. I know he's known for giving people max time, jail time, all that. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to have five years probation. Latham thought his attorney struck a deal with prosecutors to three years probation. But during his sentencing hearing, I was stressed out right then. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of, I was very put, my, very much so put on the spot. Latham said the judge told him he'd give him the five year max unless he got a COVID 19 vaccine. With the shot, Latham said his probation would be cut down considerably to just one year. I'm shaking at this point. Like, I don't really like where this is going. In the moment, Latham agreed. Now his terms of probation state he must get the shot in the next 30 days and provide proof to the probation department. He has your future in his hands. Do you feel that's an overstep? I feel like it is an overstep, especially when he asked me, would I get it? And I said, I really don't want to get it. I spoke with Judge Fry by phone. He tells me of the three cases in which he ordered COVID-19 vaccinations. None of the offenders said they had a religious or medical objection. He said this is him doing his part to inch the community closer to herd immunity. He, he says something about a new Delta strain out attacking like black people, but I, I haven't had any symptoms. I told him I've been fine. Like I just went to the hospital for strep throat and they didn't try to give me the vaccine. So Latham tells why. me he's not trying to get out of punishment for his crimes, but also doesn't feel injections into his body should be part of the time. It's not like, how do you, that's my. Question, Brother Yosef, what is the best elixir to help the pineal gland? Um, I would just tell people to, to take Hirotaki. I have mm -hmm. not found nothing more powerful than for, to open. Literally, the yogis in India will tell you this stuff will pop your pineal gland open just from taking it. Not only that, it will make you smarter, and it will make your blood oxygenated 300 times. I did a video on this back in 2018 with the Hirotaki. Mm -hmm. um, so I would recommend people taking the Hirotaki. It will take your pineal gland to the next level without making it too difficult. That's, that's, that's the best thing, family. Oh, Nikki. Here I'm going to show you the biggest deception that has been fooling people for years. Tragic story of Princess Nikki Mina Jida. She was a Cambodian Thai princess born in the 1920s who married King Tom Holland Bicorn. What's really going on? Have you seen that movie called God Send? I'm starting to believe they've been telling us their agenda for the longest, but we always brush it off. You might think that this is just a younger version of Taylor Swift and that's just it. But, despite their uncanny resemblance, this girl's name is actually Becky. There is a theory that Taylor Swift is the successful queen of a clone program, which sampled their DNA from this lady, Zena Shrek, the former high priestess of the Church of Satan. See the resemblance? Shrek was a pop star and the high priestess of the Church of Satan till 1990 and coincidentally Taylor Swift was born in 1989. Both Taylor and Xena used serpents as their symbols and have similar successful careers crossing over from country to pop music, leading many to believe that Taylor Swift was created to take over where Xena left off. That's why I think. You have a lot of great fans out there, and they, what they do is they find old paintings and old pictures from like the 1500s of dudes that look like you. <laughs> so they just think that you've been on the earth since the earth since you, you've just been around, there's just different generations. I just wanted to show you just We're in case. We're all stardust, baby. I know. 
Hey, come here. Look at me. Hey, look at me. What did I say? No. Come here. Look at me. Hey, look at me. What? Did... No. Come here. Look at me. Hey, hey. What? Did... Ah, you want to? No. Spaceship right above the city, and right, and right in the middle of the city, right there. What do they have? Look at that. A big ass candy blue light, guys. Where they can make this shit up right here in Blue Lake City, uh, Salt Lake City, right now. Get here, they be all advanced. Like, oh, that's an old soul. You got damn right. This kid might be older than you. My baby, too. Oh, these new pandemic babies. You got to get one. They just. <laughs> babies? They ain't babies. They appear to be babies to you because they come and just landed on the, on the realm. These are ancient souls coming here. Coming into the realm for the war. To eradicate these parasites. These are ancient wise souls. A lot of these babies is coming in now. But mixed in that, you still got your new souls. Hey, never disrespect this neuromelanin and this carbon. That's supremacy if you got that shit. And every Latino and every black motherfucker got a nigga and you should be proud, nigga. That's worth more than, a, than any cash, nigga. Nigga, you forever, nigga. You got a soul and a spirit, nigga. Nigga, they want to live through you. Why you think they clone shit? Why you think they put my father on the MK Ultra so they can literally live through us, nigga? What you think they were showing you and get out? Why you think they, when the white dude told them? Nigga, all the motherfuckers was rich. What he told them, though? Nigga, what he told them, though, nigga? Nigga, I want your eyes, nigga. The whole movie, they was sizing the black dude up. Nigga, the brother was at the table like, the whole movie like, hey, hey, you, you know, with your with your genetics, with your genetics, I would have been, I would have been called his ass out, nigga. I wouldn't have waited to the end of the movie to try to get out and whoop that nigga. I would have at the table when he sized me up like that. I don't give a fuck if this your sister, nigga. This still my wife, my girl, nigga. I got I can't be looking like no bitch. He had to take, hey, <laughs> You know, with those genetics, you know. Facts! Y'all thought that was a movie, nigga. That was a documentary, fam. Nigga, that's what they did to Kanye. Because they either going to kill you and clone you, or they going to flat out kill you. Or sometimes they'll put you on under, under MK Ultra. It depends on how creative you is. Like, if you got like a brain like that, sometimes they just want to be you. They want to experience that. <clears throat> Motherfuckers laughing, thinking it shit a joke. I don't even know what's funny right now. A nigga must have cracked the joke in the comments or something. I know I ain't cracked a joke. You know what I'm saying? I must look funny right now. Oh, cool shit. Okay, cool. All right. Nigga, laugh. Nigga, and live, live your best life. But understand, this shit is real. Nigga. <laughs> you feel me out there? Okay. 
Americans have no idea that ancient cities with advanced architectures once dotted the ancient North American landscape. Advanced ancient civilizations once inhabited the North American continent. And this fact was common knowledge just 200 years ago. As uh, Europeans moved northward from the Gulf in the 1530s and westward from Virginia after 1607 and westward from Plymouth Rock in 1620, they did learn that the place had been occupied for a long time. Thomas Jefferson was well aware that there were very, very big earthworks. What were these ancient earthworks? Ancient city walls, buildings, roads, burial sites. Artifacts of, of iron were found, uh, artifacts of hardened copper, uh, stone tablets with writing. R regular farmers just plowing their fields would really turn up uh, literally bushel baskets of arrowheads, uh, spear points, etc. And uh, these things were commonplace. The real question is, why were these sites not preserved? And why are these advanced civilizations not more commonly known of today? The answers can be found in two surprising places. First, in the 19th century implementation of the doctrine of manifest destiny. And second, in the then emerging conflict between evolutionary science and religion. Uh, manifest destiny is, is the ideal that not only are we uh, unique and our institutions are unique, but we have a unique mission to spread that and to take that across the continent. Uh, and then the third area is that uh, we are uniquely qualified or called, uh, it is our destiny. This idea of the different races not only having separate creations, but perhaps they also had different capabilities, that's where that played into it. Because, you know, it's a, you know, it's a small step from there to start talking about uh, allegedly uh, superior or inferior races. And that's exactly what happened. They killed him. You think they killed him because he killed his people? Hell no! They killed him because, listen to me real good, he touched my nerve with that question. Did you know that in Libya, nobody's homeless? Listen! Everybody in Libya has either a home or an apartment, they call it a flat. Did you know education in Libya is free from kindergarten through college? And did you know that if a Libyan wanted to come to America to be educated, the government in Libya paid for their education? Did you know that? I was there when he opened a $500 million hospital with 18 uh, theaters for operation. I was there and we went when he was making their own medicines. See, this was a man that gave free medical attention to all the citizens of Libya and if Libya did not offer that kind of medical attention they could fly anywhere in the world and get it and the Libyan government would pay for it. Did you know that? No you didn't. Did you know that from the oil money every Libyan citizen got a stipend? every year and did you know that that man had no debt everything in his country was paid for see now when you got a man that did that for an african nation and was trying to do that for all africa how do you think europe felt about that think celebrations of blackness are anti-white is because celebrations of whiteness are always anti-black but that's not my problem to fix 
nor is it my burden to bear. You said something interesting, and I know a lot of people misunderstood it, so I want you to be able to say it. Um, I think it was Details Magazine. You talked about, you used the word God, and that's what messed everybody up. But you said you, something to the effect you were a self-made God. Explain it. Um, I made up my mind to make a change in my life when I was 16 years old. We are all gods on this planet, every man and every woman. We create life. We can take life. We control what goes into the sea, whether the fish can live or not. We decide if the trees can grow tall. We decide if the children will eat. We are very powerful beings on the planet Earth. And when I said a self-made God, I meant just what I said. Barry White changed his life. Mm -hmm. So you're right. Yeah. And people criticize the statement? No, not to my knowledge. It's the first yeah. time I'm hearing about it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, people tend to play down our power. Mm -hmm. But don't worry about it. This next guy do it unless there's God above to do it. There's a lot of things that has to change on this planet Earth that only we can change. And until we embrace the fact that we are as powerful uh, as we are as beings. We're going to continue to make the mistakes and allow the mistakes to be made from our children to our adults, to our elderly, to whatever situation you want to talk about. Buy our Mitchell art to decorate and enhance your home with spiritual art. Some of my art paintings are created to raise the consciousness of all people on our African history and culture that has been hidden and lied to us for thousands of years. For some of y'all who don't know what's going on, these are fishes that are coming out of the ocean. This ain't normal. They sense danger and they're getting out of the ocean because something is coming up from the ocean. When have you ever seen that many fish? Remember them birds? I told you the animals will tell you. Look at all them fish. Look at all them fish. Coming from the ocean, that means some coming out that mud. That means some coming out that mud. They gonna be eating for a minute. That ain't normal, bro. This at a beach resort, bro. Look at all those fish coming out. Look at that. Oh yeah, you know, Earth going back to tropical, like I said, and some big ass creatures coming out that mud. Look at that. Look at them. Happy people though, they all happy. That's what we're going to be like too when the parasites leave. Look at that, bro. When have you ever seen that many fish leave the ocean at one time, bro? They swim, they literally swimming in them. What's going on with the black community? What is our None of your motherfucking business, Mrs. Rogers. The black community is doing fine. We're actually more aware than ever about what's going on. And the government is no longer manipulating us. Go feed your cat and mind your business. Anyway. Phones and their clothes ripped out of their hands as a window just ripped off the side of an airplane on an Alaska Airlines flight midway to California. Look at this. Just in the middle of the flight. The window just rips off the side of the airplane. People reported that their emergency air mask fell out, obviously, because the pressure in the plane went down so quickly because the window just ripped off the side of the airplane. 
According to one of the women that was recording this video, nobody luckily was sitting in the seat because if you look right here, all the foam on the back of the seat is completely gone. It's out that window. If somebody would have been sitting right there and they wouldn't have had their seatbelt on, there's no telling what would have happened to them. There were other reports of a child's shirt being ripped off its body and people that were sitting near the window, their phones were completely sucked out of their hands and sent off into the sky. Now, luckily this plane had just taken off from Portland, Oregon, because if it would have been any further away and not near an airport, there's no telling how long it would have taken for this plane to get down, but everyone was reported safe and no injuries. And this was a brand new plane off the lot just a few months ago. So this has everybody worried. But let me know, what would you have done if this would happen to you? Let me know in the comments. Five teenagers in custody this morning following... That real talk, if you haven't seen it, and, and, and there's been evidence of this. Like, pay, paid actors is a thing. Y'all know this, right? George Soros, go back. Like, there's people that would just be hired out to just go and do some stuff. They did it with the Black Lives Matter thing. Or at least just for the footage to, to, to have covered up cover this stuff up when it happens like, there's way too much silence about this stuff like like the teenagers i mean like re like be honest how is it that on tiktok females is able to find cheaters and significant others and all kinds of other random stuff and sauce but when it comes to this stuff like nothing is popping up it's a little weird that's a little someone tell me why the entire world is not talking about what is happening at this prison if you don't know, they have found 215 prisoners buried in graves behind a prison, and they told no one that their family members had died. The reason it was found out is a woman was looking for her son. Turns out he was ran over by a police officer, and they just drug him into a hole, which they made the prisoners dig, and then they buried him without telling anyone. They did this 214 more times. You think that's the wildest part? You think that's the wildest part? That prisons and cops are just murking people? No, we're used to that. The craziest part is for these people's family members to get proper burials, they have to buy the bodies back from the prison that killed them and buried them. What? My friends in other countries have let me know America's their favorite trash reality show. It really is.